Hello, hello. It's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy and happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday, Thanksgiving night, and even though it's a holiday here in the United States, I still wanted to come on and do my live because I know that many of you look forward to this each week. How many of you are having an awesome day? I hope most of you are. I hope all of you are. But I know sometimes holidays can be rough, especially right now in the middle of a pandemic. I know that many of you are alone when you don't want to be. And so I hope if you're alone tonight that um, my little hour of stamping will bring you some joy and distraction from everything else going on in the world. Oh, I have some fun projects to share with you. I have to admit I didn't plan very well. I pulled from my box. Let me show you this box. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh, it's a hot mess now. I've got this box of <laughs> on my shelf, and it's got just like leftover card kits from different classes or um, stamp club projects. I just threw them all in a box. And so tonight I pulled from those. Um card things that were pre-cut and so we're gonna make a few cards hello hello happy thanksgiving everybody all right so before we get started i want to have a new segment as part of thursday night stamp therapy and i want to do mail call and show you the awesome things that i got in the mail um i am i'm really behind on sharing and i feel really terrible i've gotten some beautiful cards in the mail over the last few months and my intention was to take pictures and to post them and share them. And some of them I took pictures of and then I got behind and I just didn't. And so I literally have like 40 pictures and my son has been helping me to put everybody's names on them. So I'm going to be posting those. If you sent me a card, I've got pictures. I'm going to post it and share it onto the um, Julie Stampin' Spot Share and Connect group. And moving forward, I'm going to share them live every week and show you the cards that I get in the mail because there are some beautiful cards that deserve some attention. So the first project I'm super excited about, the first card is a tag that came on my gift for being a top achiever. So I got my bag and my blanket and they're beautiful and it came with this gorgeous tag. And I was actually going to copy this and show this card to you tonight because I thought it was just so fun. The background is just a marker. They just made stripes of the marker, really simple stamping, tone on tone, soft seat foam, and then the let's celebrate. It's really easy, but I think it's it's just so beautiful. And the next project I have to share with you is from Debbie Fortright and her daughter Amy. They sent me this cute little three by three card and this is what's so special. I had to try to <laughs> retie the ribbon so it could look pretty but look at this. Amy makes jewelry and um, so she made this bracelet. Isn't it beautiful? It's got beads, and then you may recognize these are the acorn trinkets that Stampin' Up! sells. So it's got this, this fun little clasp. Just so, so beautiful. Amy, thank you so much. And Debbie, thank you for sending it and thinking of me. It was so sweet of you both. I don't know if I can do, <laughs> do this on camera with one hand. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put it away for now. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I love when you can combine your hobbies, jewelry making and stamping together. Ooh. All right, the next card is from Angela. Love this fall whimsy card. And she did um, a really fun technique where you tear the bottom of the card and then she just put it, um, she just glued it on the inside and then did some sponging to add some color. So really simple, but beautiful card. Thank you so much, Angela, for that card. And then this one is from Priscilla Webking, and she used the Celebrate Sunflower stamp set with some um, wide burlap ribbon, that um, tasteful textile embossing folder. Such a beautiful card and a beautiful note inside, too. Thank you so much, for Priscilla, for making my day with this beautiful card. All right, so moving forward, I will share projects that I get in the mail at the beginning of Thursday Night Lives. And I do have pictures. If you sent me one in the last couple months, I will be posting it in that Share and Connect group this weekend, so watch for that. All right, well, I also wanna do a drawing really quick. Yesterday I posted pictures 
of the um, the projects that I shared. Did you guys see my Facebook Live on Tuesday? I did kind of a surprise Facebook Live, and I showed some projects using some of my favorite things from the annual catalog. And so I also made 20 of these in-color cards with the tasteful textiles and the in-color designer paper, and then two of my favorite punches, the Timeless Label Punch and the Tailored Tag Punch. And so um, yesterday I posted pictures and I said, leave a comment and I will give away a set of these cards. So I have, um, I have everybody's name who left a comment on the post and I'm going to draw one winner to receive a set of cards. But you guys, I've got more card sets. So I'm going to give away another um, set of cards tonight. So leave a comment and let me know. Let's see what kind of questions shall we ask. Now I'm going to do the drawing afterwards. So there's no rush to put your answer in. Um, why don't you tell me what did you have for dinner tonight? Did you have turkey or maybe you don't like turkey and you had roast beef or something else? We had turkey and my husband smoked the turkey and I have to say I was never a turkey fan, but oh, that was a good turkey. <laughs> he may have changed my mind. It was so tender and so good. So tell me what you had for dinner tonight, and I will do a second drawing um, for a second set of cards. But right now, this is going to be um, the drawing from the comments on the other post, and I'm going to send one person, Don Marquette. Yay, Don! So, Don, I don't think that I have your address, so I'll reach out to you in the comments, but please um, send me a message with your mailing address so that I can mail you a set of cards. And if you would like to win a set of cards, please leave a comment on this video and let me know what you had for dinner tonight on Thanksgiving, and I'll do a drawing um, later on tonight or first thing in the morning. Are you guys ready to stamp? Yeah! So we're going to use those card kits, like I said. One of the card kits that I pulled out is this one. This was a card that I designed last year, but I was kind of excited because all this stuff carried over, almost all the stuff. The designer paper carried over, the ribbon, the ribbon didn't. But this card we're going to use, the Christmas Gleaming Stamp Set, some of these um, star designer elements, and the Christmas Gleaming um, has a punch pack. So there's two different size ornaments. That coordinate with the stamps and I think that the bundle actually comes with the designer paper as well let me pull that out and just take a quick look this is in the it carried over it was in last year's holiday catalog and it carried over to this catalog and yes on page 19 so this bundle does include the designer paper so it's kind of like a super size bundle. So you have the stamp set, the punches, and the brightly gleaming designer paper, and you get 10% off when you get them all together. So that's the way to do it, right? You just get them all together, save 10%. So there's the item number for that. Let me give you a close up. 156082. And you can get this and all the stuff I show you tonight in the online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. How many of you took advantage of the... Um, the sale they had on Tuesday, it carried over to Wednesday too. And um, there was 10% off everything. It was such an awesome deal. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. I'm going to tell you, I I placed a few orders. Oh, I, <laughs> I was ordering for some kits and then I decided to order some other stuff. And maybe I got carried away. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Um, if you missed the sale, don't worry because I'm going to have some fun things on sale tomorrow. Join me tomorrow night, Facebook Live, 7 p.m. I'm having a, a Black Friday water heater sale. <laughs> we had to replace our water heater and um, it costs a lot. Um, we actually got a tankless water heater. So we went for the we went for the really nice one and um, now we need to pay for it. So I'm, I'll be selling all of my retired Stampin' Up! stuff. I have cardstock, I have designer paper, punches, dies, stamp sets, 
palettes, bundles, kits. I've got all kinds of stuff. Most of it is marked down at least 50% off. And I will be selling that all tomorrow night. So tune in at 7 o'clock right here on Facebook um, for that. So if you're looking for some deals, I've got all kinds of really great stuff. Okay, so this is all stuff that's pre-cut and um, it even had an envelope in the kit. So that's that's kind of fun. Oh, I wish I'd stamp the envelope. I always forget about that. Um, and then we've got some pieces. I'm trying to remember how this card goes. I think these two lay, 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 little, blah, blah, layer like this. So let's get some adhesive. This brightly gleaming designer paper. I think I've been using it a lot. So you've probably, um, you probably recognize it. We've made some cards with it recently, but I love that these patterns like are not too over the top Christmas. Like I feel like you could use this for other things. We're gonna stamp ornaments, which are very Christmassy. So there is no getting around that, <laughs> but you could use this and create a card that wasn't for Christmas. All right, I'm gonna stamp the ornaments. I'm doing um, Mossy Meadow and um, Pretty Peacock. These are colors that I took from the designer paper. And um, then I'll be punching them out. And let's get a block for this one. I'm going to stamp this on, um, on Whisper White. So this one, originally my card design used the ribbon, but the ribbon's not current. So <laughs> I thought I would just stamp um, an image. So I'm going to use that. And actually I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Sometimes I think I re-inked my navy pad recently. And so like, I feel like it's really juicy. So we're going to punch the ornaments. Gosh, I just love punches. Dies are nice, but punches are just so quick and easy. I'm gonna punch these out and then we're going to do some more layering. So let's start with this one in the middle. So Marsha, the tankless water heater was just installed yesterday. So, oh gosh, look at that, you guys. <sighs> I got ink. Where did it even come from? It's that navy ink. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't stuck it down. I'm going to make that the back of the card. <laughs> I do have one of those sand erasers, but I can never get it to work. Oh, that's helping a little bit. That might be the most successful sand eraser use I've used. Look at that. Okay, sand eraser. I got this on Amazon. It's not in the Stampin' Up! catalog, but um, like I said, I haven't had much luck, but that really did the job, didn't it? I'm still going to make that the back side, so let's fold it in half. This is going to go in the center. Anyway, Marsha, I was starting to say, we just got the tankless water heater, so I am not really sure yet, <laughs> but it's got to be better than a water heater that's not working, <laughs> and we have a large family. There's six of us, and so um, one of the perks of the tankless water heater is that it's um, like hot water all the time, like you don't have to wait, so hopefully it'll work out nicely. Does anybody have a, a tankless water heater at home? The the guy, um, the guy was really convincing. I'll just say that. <laughs> I I think it's gonna be nice. All right, we're gonna do stamp of dimensionals on the ornaments. And then I'm going to cut, I think this is where the ink came from, such a thick stamp. I'm going to cut this out. This is, it, this is an interesting stamp because it's kind of like the reverse. You know, the negative, instead of stamping the words, we have the black, and then the words are like what's left. I really don't, what, what, what? What is that? Where did that come from? Ah! Oh my goodness. I'm just... A hot mess. I, I really... I don't know. I don't know. I thought I got it all. 
Did I have twine on this card? I feel like I could. All right, so I'm gonna do some Stampin' Dimensionals with the ornaments. And that's nice. And then we're gonna add some of the stars. Grinch is on tomorrow night. Oh, yes. We rented a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving from the library. So I'm excited to watch that tonight after the live. The kids are waiting for me. We're going to have pumpkin pie and then we're going to watch Charlie Brown. It's going to be lovely. And guess what? We put our tree up last night. <laughs> we usually don't put it up so early. Usually we do like um, the first weekend in December or maybe, you know, the, like later in the weekend on Thanksgiving, but Jim's going to take the kids hunting. And so I just wanted to get it done and not have to worry about it later this week. Do you guys have your Christmas tree up yet? Um, yeah, the water heater was expensive. <laughs> March, it was crazy. Um, all right. What do you think? Here's the finished card. I just sort of flew through that. I think. I'm scared to break out that navy ink again, but let's <laughs> let's add let's add a little a little ornament onto our envelope. Now I'm going to show you I have some um I have some other versions of this card that I want to show you. Let me move these. I'm just going to put them on the other side so that I really don't want to get myself all mixed up in them. Okay, so here is the simple stamping version of this card. Okay, so I used um, the same kind of concept of the piece in the middle, but I just stamped in Mossy Meadow and in Pretty Peacock. And then this I stamped and cut out and put over it. And then I, it needed something else, so I did add a little bit of cardstock. Okay, so that is simple stamping. And then here's one where I just stepped it up a little bit. I added some designer paper and some foil, and um, and I punched out the ornaments. And then this is sort of the over-the-top one. So last year in the catalog, we had these little um, foil... Um, these little foil elements and then I also had the ribbon so the ribbon and I added the stars and then the little foil elements so this was sort of the over the top so I, which one do you guys like do you like the simple stamping maybe stepped up just a little bit or do you like to add all the stuff all the bling this is sort of like I think right here is my jam which is I think kind of in between these two right because we have like some of the extra elements you know like the stars but um but we don't have like the ribbon and the foil like it's not sometimes I feel like cards are just it's just too much so simple stepped up over the top leave a comment let me know which one is your style you like the one I did tonight Sharon yeah Marcia says over the top Jenny says simple. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is sort of the like, I think the in between. Yeah, the one I did tonight, you guys are agreeing. Um, Joe, your tree's been up since the first week of November. Oh, my goodness. You know what? If it makes you happy, why not? I know people have put it up after Halloween. So um, I was talking to the kids today, though, and I said, I find it really interesting because the people who put up their tree really early, um, then tend to take it down really early. Like it always, it always makes me sad when I see people taking down their trees like the day after Christmas, because I feel like Christmas is much longer than just the Christmas day. So um, we'll have our tree up all throughout December and probably until um, like the first week of January. January 6th is usually kind of the, the day that we, we shoot to take it down by. Um, top two, Louisa says, are her favorite. Yolanda likes both on the left side, these two. Is that right? Yeah, that should be. Your right and my le right are the same, aren't they? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, let's move on. You have your tree up year-round, Yolanda. I love that. 
You know what? I, a very simple lighted tree without any ornaments, I think is just so pretty. So last night we put our tree up and we, we put the lights on, but we didn't decorate it until this morning. Um, and I think it's just so lovely to have just a, just the plain, just the plain tree with the lights. Okay, let's make another card. So here's another one that's from my um, stash of cards. I showed you that at the beginning. I had this whole bin of cards that are ready to go. And so I'm going to stamp this card. Hopefully I remember how I did it. Um, I need Sahara Sand and Navy. And I think I'm going to need... Um, I think I'm going to need a scrap scrap paper to stamp on. Okay, so this card was inspired by my friend Meg Lovin. She did a card very similar to this um, style. I don't remember if it, it was a swap or I don't remember where it came from. So it has the front of the card is cut off. So this is two and three quarter inches. And then the piece on the inside is four inches by five and a quarter. Um, yes, the epiphany. I could not think of that word. <laughs> Louisa, that's, we usually wait for the epiphany before we take the tree down. Um, so I'm going to use, oh, look at all my pieces. <laughs> do you guys ever do this? Sometimes I have extra pieces cut and I just stick them in the stamp set for the next time that I want to use it. I forgot they were in there. Um, I'm going to use the tree down, the tree, the, the sailboat down there. And then I really love this sentiment. It says, set sail in the direction of your dreams. I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to do the lighthouse because that's kind of like giving you direction. So that's going to go on the circle. So let's get out some blocks from my bucket. And that's going to need a big one, isn't it? And there we go. Okay, so let's start with the circle. I'm going to do Sahara sand for the lighthouse. And I think I need to um I think I need to stamp off on this. Oh, Carla, I'm so sorry you've had a rough year. Oh it it has it's it has just been a rough year for everyone, but some people more than others and like when it rains it pours so I'm I'm so sorry to hear that Carla here is to 2021 it can't it can't be any worse right <laughs> all right I've got the um set sail in the direction of your dreams and then just sort of the like almost a watermark just really light with the lighthouse in the background and then um I'm gonna do a tree down here and I'm not, why do I keep calling it a tree? It's a sailboat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't decide between Navy and Sahara Sand. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, you know what? <laughs> We're going to try them both because I can always flip it over. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's the Sahara Sand. And here is the navy. You guys can help me decide. Um, and maybe you'll need to see the rest of the card put together before you decide. So let's close up the ink pads. And um, do I need this one? I think I might need that for down there. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the scrap paper and put this together. So we've got this banner. This is a two inch by four inch piece of designer paper and then a half inch by like three and a half inch. And then we have the circle that's going to go on like that. Um, now this designer paper is from last catalog, but um, I have a surprise for you that'll make up for that. <laughs> it was great paper. I really loved that paper. The stamp set is still available sailing home, so you can still get that. And I think that the um I think that the twine is still available too. I think this is in there. It's Sahara Sand and Night of Navy. I think that's in the catalog still. And so we're gonna put the um 
just adhesive on the top of the banner and that's gonna go like up in the corner. And so it kind of like folds over like this. Okay, and then this is gonna go on with dimensionals. And so my question is, <laughs> what with treats? Do you think we should do the Navy sailboat down here or should we do the Sahara Sand sailboat down there which is a little bit um it's a little bit more subtle which one do you like better so sahara sand or navy hmm that's interesting i'm trying to decide which one i like so navy or Sahara Sands. Okay, while you guys are answering, because there's a little delay, I'm gonna tie the, the twine and I'm gonna put this on. Give that a quick snip. And glue dot. This is just going to go up in the corner like a so. Okay, let's see what you guys think. I'm scrolling back up. Here we go. Okay, so Eva says Navy. Aaron likes Sahara Sand. Marsha says Navy. Tony says Navy. Janet says Sahara Sand. Yolanda says Sahara Sand. Joe says Navy. Mary says Sahara Sand. Sue says Navy. Sharon says Navy. Donna says Navy. Carol says Navy. Patricia says Navy. Nancy says Navy. Jenny says Navy. Deb says Sahara Sand. Joanne says Navy. Marsha says definitely Navy. Hmm. Lynn's okay with both. Sue says Navy. Kimberly says Navy. Louisa says Sahara Sand. Um, Carmen says Navy. Cindy says the twine is no longer available. No! That makes me sad. I really thought it was still in the catalog. Hmm. Now I feel like I need to... <laughs> Not that I don't trust you, Cindy, but like I'm going crazy because I really thought that was. Don't we have some kind of twine? Am I just thinking of the linen thread? Oh, I guess maybe that's the twine I was thinking of in the flowers for every season. Well, boo. All right, I lost track. <laughs> navy, Sahara Sands. I think I, think I like the Navy. I'm going to go with the Navy. Okay. Thank you for your input. I really appreciate it. And if I didn't pick the color that you wanted, it's not because I don't love you. Because <laughs> I do. I love you all. There's the finished card. Isn't that a good card? I really like the layout. And I felt bad when I um, was getting this card ready because I knew the paper was... I knew the paper was not good, but I, I thought... I thought the twine was. Anyway, so I cut a second version of this card to create using some new paper. So maybe that makes up for the old paper. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a sneak peek. This designer paper is actually a celebration gift. I forgot what it's called, but it's coming out in the, um, in the, um, in the celebration catalog in January. And so I've got a uh, black cardstock for the base, some just jade for the inside, and then look at that beautiful um, banner. So here's where I need some help because I couldn't decide when I was cutting. This is the other side of the designer paper with the polka dots. Or do you like the solid yellow? I'm kind of leaning towards the solid yellow myself. Um, and then for the stamp set, this is not a, a sneak peek, but the blossoms in bloom, I thought that the blossoms kind of like coordinated here. So I've got, I got some stamps and let's get these out. We're going to do some, um, we're going to do thinking of you. That's my most favorite greeting because I feel like it just covers it covers everything, right? I'm gonna do a little um I'm gonna do a little leaf on here too. Um all right, yellow, 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 
Yeah, you guys are all agreeing with me on the yellow. That was kind of a an easy one. And one more little one. Okay, I'm going to start with the Thinking of You. This is a two and a quarter inch circle. Bumblebee. Oh, that's going to need a center for sure. <laughs> and I wonder how I get ink on myself. Oh, geez, Jules. All right, we're going to add some leaves to bring in the green color. And this one, it does have a center. And the designer paper here is a black center. So... I'm gonna do a black, a black center. Let's see if I can use this black. Oh, we need another center. Making a mess. Okay. This is pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Don't you love it? We do need some flowers over here though, huh? Hmm. Well, I'm just going to get the other. This is cute. There's like these two little flowers. So let's do, I'm gonna move them closer together. This is gonna go along the bottom. Oh no. Mm, I'll just turn it over. <laughs> Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Ready to put it down. I love a good card layout. And so once you have something that works, it's so easy to just change out the designer paper, the, you know, the, the colors, the stamp set, and just use the same layout and create something different. So I do that a lot. You guys know, you see all my, all my second versions of things. <laughs> Blue goober. That's so cute. Let's put some dimensionals on this. And then I love twine, but we don't have twine at all. Um, the white twine that I love. And so um, there's actually some coming out, I think, in the, in the mini catalog, but it's like part of a pack. So I just got out because it needs a bow for sure. I got out this crinkled white seam binding, and so I'm just gonna do a bow and put this, um, I'm gonna put that at the top. I have to concentrate, I can't talk while I'm cutting. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be just kind of right up there. That's cute. I worried about a black card base on a flower card, but I think like it works because there's so much black in the designer paper. It doesn't feel too dark for me. And sometimes like people can get overwhelmed by too much pink so I think having a black card base on a flower card is kind of different and fun all right oops dropping stuff there's the finished card 
Now you have to tell me, do you like the original card with the sailboats or do you prefer the flower card with blossoms in bloom? I'm trying to get those to stay down. <laughs> Which one do you guys like? I know these questions are always so hard, right? Because you like them both for different reasons. But if you could only choose one, <laughs> which one would you get? Eva likes the flower one. Yeah, dramatic is a good word. Yes, yes, yes. The sailboat. Melanie says the sailboat. It, I love this layout. Like, I feel like I really want to play with it some more now and make some other cards with different um different colors and like this could be a really cute christmas layout so hmm. <laughs> you may see you may see this some more okay myrtle likes the sailboat aaron says both so does sharon yeah it's kind of like a masculine and a feminine card aren't they um melanie likes the sailboat too it's hard really they're both great i think for different reasons and that's one great thing about reusing your layout is like it looks like a totally different card right even though it's the same card um they look so different because we changed up the colors and everything okay are you ready for another one yes we are oh i thought so <laughs> let me switch out my boxes okay so here's another one where i pulled out a card from the box and it does have some retired product in it. However, I have a second bonus version of the card to do like we just did. So we're going to make this one how it was previously with the, the stamps that is still current, but like the punch is old, the embossing folder is old, the ribbon is old. Um, but then we'll do a second version with some new stuff for a sneak peek. Oh. Finishing my wine from dinner. <laughs> Okay, so this one uses the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. This was in the um, this was in the catalog last year, the holiday catalog, and it carried over. It's still in the um, it's in the annual catalog now, and you can still get it, and you can still get the tree punch. Um, so you can make a version of this card. You'll have to change just a few things, like the stamp um the starburst punch you'd have to use something different there and um the ribbon and the embossing folder but those are really easy things to substitute all right so let's pull out some more blocks good thing i have a whole bucket of blocks because <laughs> we're using them all tonight Okay, perfectly plaid. I'm gonna stick that over here. The card base here is crumb cake. We've got cherry cobbler, garden green, and soft suede. So this one just has some, I'm trying to remember now how it's layered. I believe the cherry cobbler goes this way, and then the garden green, and then this is gonna come across. Um, and then we've got some um, some fun things like that. So this is going to be for the tree. We're going to stamp that in garden green for the top. Ooh, that's pretty. And then there's a stem, but I highly recommend that you punch first so you can see exactly where that stem's going to go. Because if you try to stamp it and then, or punch it, now stamp it and then punch it. You might not have guessed right <laughs> on the center of the tree. So um, stamp the tree first and then punch it and then you can add the, the trunk exactly where it needs to go. And then this is going to be Merry Christmas up here in garden green. And let's let's do some layering. Right in the center on this piece. And the next one is garden green. That's also going in the center. 
This is a little trickier with the um, textured cardstock, so I actually recommend putting your adhesive onto the card, and then you'll be able to just put that on and push down. So that's gonna be the that's the easy way to do that. All right, I can't remember how this went. I feel like maybe the ribbon was I'm sure. Let's do it that way. So I'm gonna do a little adhesive and the ribbon and then we'll do some Stampin' Dimensionals on the tree and some um, dimensionals on the back of the circle. Oh Sue, your family's having pie without you. Go enjoy your dessert. I'm gonna have pie with my family when we're all done here. But you can watch the rest on replay. It'll be here. We've got, well, this is the last card, I guess, isn't it? But there, well, there's the other version of it coming up. But then that'll be it. Okay, I just trimmed the ends. I thought it needed, I thought it needed it. Then we're going to do that down here. I don't know, center, off center. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? I kind of like it in the center. While you're thinking about it and <laughs> leaving me a comment, hopefully. Um, center or left. I didn't push it down all the way, so I can go either way. So left or center. Center. Left. Yeah. Lynn says off. Eva says off. Tony likes off. I think that's how my card originally was. Was off to the left. Janice is left. All right, you guys are smart. We'll go with left. Oh, Donna's is center. I think because the sentiment is a little to the right that I like the tree to go a little to the left. My original card used the um, the linen. I feel like maybe it's a little much, but since I've tied it, I'm going to put it on there. And push. <laughs> it's in. All right, there's the Christmas card. What do you think of that one? Love it. Yay. So for the bonus card, like I said, I'm doing a bonus one because I used retired stuff on here, the embossing folder and the punch and the ribbon. You get a bonus card. <laughs> uh, this is the art gallery stamp set. This is coming out in the new mini catalog. Demonstrators can pre-order starting December 1st. So if you're not a demonstrator yet, you should really think about it because you can get all this stuff that I've been showing you all the sneak peek stuff, you can get that all December 1st. That's next week, guys. <laughs> you can get this stuff and order it that early. So if you have ever thought about being a demonstrator and like the idea of getting stuff early, you really should think about it. <laughs> I'll post the link uh, in the description when I'm all done if you want some more information about joining my team. But it is a lot of fun. And one of the perks is that you get to pre-order stuff early. And another perk is that you get a discount on it. You get a discount on all your purchases of at least 20%. So, hello. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay. Art Gallery is a new stamp set. Painted Texture. This is a cool new embossing folder. And so I have prepared... Um, a little bit based on the designer paper is where I kind of pulled all my colors from. So I've got Rococo Rose card base. I have this pear pizzazz uh, painted texture um, embossing folder. I've got a circle. I've got a ribbon. And the one thing I couldn't decide on was which color to put back here. So I need your help again. This is Night of Navy, and that's the color that's in the center of the flowers. Okay, but I also really liked Rich Razzleberry. I feel like Rich Razzleberry is not as harsh, 
Like it kind of goes with the pink a little bit more, but I also really like the way that makes the blue pop. And I think it's an interesting color combination. So let me know if you think I should use Night of Navy or Rich Razzleberry, which is in the petals of the flowers there. Okay, while you guys are doing that, we are going to use this flower stamp here. So I'm gonna stamp that in the circle. And let's see what kind of greeting do we want. Um, gosh, I like that miss you. Cause today I am missing, I'm missing my family so much. All of them, all of my family. We were um, just home by ourselves. We did not see any family. We did not see anybody. <laughs> uh, just home by ourselves. And um, we're missing everybody. So I might have to send this. I might have to send this this week. I chose Blushing Bride because that's the lighter color that's in here with the Rococo Rose. So this is going to go on the circle. And then um, after we decide on the navy versus um, the navy versus rich razzleberry, I will stamp the words in that color. So let me look here at the comments and see um, what we have. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're very split on this. Okay. All right. I've got a I've got a count. So one for navy, one for razzleberry, two for navy, two for razzleberry, three for navy, four for navy, three for razzleberry, five for navy, four for razzleberry, five for razzleberry, six for navy, seven for navy, eight for navy, six for razzleberry, seven for razzleberry, nine for navy, ten for navy. Where did I leave off on Razzleberry? You guys are totally split. Oh my goodness. I lost count. <laughs> um, I'm kind of leaning towards the Razzleberry myself. Um, but I just find the navy so striking and different. And I can't decide if I want to go striking and different. Or I'm going to go with the raspberry. <laughs> They're both so good. I might have to make another, another version of this card using the other color combination. I miss you. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Oh, I do feel like the pink should be a little bit lighter. Oh, should we stamp off on that? <sighs> In other words. Oh, yes, yes, that's so much better. Okay, I gotta cut it first though. Do, ba, do, ba, do, 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 do. This is Stitched Shapes, one of my favorites. Oh. Let's, <laughs> wasn't planning to get this out. Let's make some room really quick. I messed up. I didn't mess up, but I wasn't thinking this one. I should have stamped off to begin with. I should have had a second. If I had a second circle cut, then <laughs> I would have been fine. Uh, <laughs> 
Do you like my singing, Nancy? Oh, I, I, I don't think that I'm a good singer, but I do enjoy singing and I listen to music all day long. And, um, there's some, some, um, rat pack on my, on my Christmas station. It's not Christmas songs, but I've got all kinds of music that's coming on my Christmas station. Yes, I already, I already turned on my Christmas Pandora station and, um, I love it. I'm not going to lie. I love Christmas music. Honestly, we listen to Christmas music even sometimes in the summertime. Like, it just makes me happy. How can that be a bad thing, right? Okay, should we glue this down? Should we call it good? Yes, Julie, do it. <laughs> so we made pumpkin pie. We, I, I made pumpkin pie. And um, everybody, I don't know. I, I like apple pie better, but I did make pump, pumpkin pie because we made applesauce in a crock pot. So pumpkin pie is what's for dessert with whipped cream. Do you guys like pie? Did you have pie today? What kind of pie did you have? We almost forgot the whipped cream. Jim had to run out this morning to the store and pick some up. Thankfully they weren't out because pumpkin pie without whipped cream would be, that would be sad. This ribbon, isn't it beautiful? This is a new ribbon that's in the mini catalog. It's part of this art gallery suite. Um, so you've got the embossing folder, the ribbon, the stamp set, there's dies, the designer paper. So there's a lot in that gorgeous suite. And this is what is featured on the cover of the mini catalog. If you are a customer of mine, I'll be mailing those mid-September, so not September, <laughs> December, so in just a couple weeks, so you can watch for that, and that catalog catalog will start in January with the demonstrator, demonstrator pre-order happening next week in December. I am going to center this, I think, because there's no other, no other elements to worry about. Though I do feel like you could easily add some gems or something. Let's take a look. Maybe we'll find an opportunity. Um, Tisha, I see your question. I can't show the catalog, so I'm going to look at it off screen. But the ribbon is just right there with that, um, that whole suite. Um... I'm trying to look for a page number on the suites. Fine Art Floral, pages 32 and 34 of this mini catalog. So you'll see it on page 33. It's pictured there. Beautiful ribbon. What do you think? Do you like the card, the way it turned out? Oh, I was going to look at gems. You know what I think is good for this? Is the... Um, the wonderful gems. I don't know if they carry over, but I really love this like gold flecked one. Got all mine cut up. This one, isn't that so pretty? So it's like a, a clear, well, it's faceted and it's clear, but then it has like gold, um, gold glitter in it. It's really something. Whoops. Oh, come on, booger. <laughs> Maybe it lost its glue dot. It must have because it's just so slippery. Okay, I'm trying to decide on the third one. Hmm. Is that too much right there? Stupid glue dot. Does that look weird? I don't know if I like it. I'll put it up there. So one, two, three. Okay. 
I've set that aside. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like the Christmas one or do you like the art gallery one? This was our third card, our very last one. I'm trying to catch up on your comments again. So glad you like the cards, Myrtle. 33. Oh, page 33, yes. Um, okay, so let me show you all the cards that we made tonight. So this was the last set. And then we made this set second. And the first card that we made was this one with the ornaments. So we had... We had a busy night. We made five cards. Which of these projects do you see yourself casing? Are, is there one that you would make at home? Maybe the ornaments, or do you like one of these layouts that we did? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you tuned in late, I'm doing a drawing for um, a set of cards tonight, and in-color cards. So make sure to tell me what you had for Thanksgiving dinner, and I will be drawing for one winner to receive a set of cards, either probably tomorrow sometime. I'll draw that um, winner. I'll look at all the comments then. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the, your night and that you have a restful, relaxing, and joyful and happy weekend. Um, and I still have some paper pumpkin projects. I haven't even played with my kit yet. It just came last Saturday and, um, I'll be working on some cards. So sometime in the next few days, I'll be doing a live for my paper pumpkin projects, but tune in tomorrow night, seven o'clock on Friday, black Friday. I'm doing the water heater sale. I got to get rid of this stuff, guys. There's lots of good deals. You're definitely going to want it. And you will be claiming through the comments on Facebook. So you want to have fast fingers and be ready to go. All the claims will be in the comments. And I'm not going to try to keep up with the comments. So I'm just going to show you all the items which will be numbered. And then I will go back through afterwards and see who was the first to comment because sometimes that doesn't work and I miss people and I don't want to miss anybody with something like this. So I'm going to go by the timestamp on, um, on the Facebook video. So Facebook will timestamp the comments and that will tell me who was the one who claimed first. So that's what I will go by tomorrow night. Make sure to tune in at seven o'clock for that sale and then join me again next Thursday night for Thursday night stamp therapy. Thanks again for tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving and I'll catch you next time. Bye.